seeing as how today is the 106th anniversary of former Vice President Hubert Humphrey's birth, I felt compelled to talk about him and give my overall opinion on his life and, I guess, legacy. Um, well, I look at it this way. Uh... Out of all of the vice presidents that didn't become president, which is the majority of them, it's really only him and Biden that I can honestly say I have an active interest in and, you know, think of fondly as well as with a general positive view. And in Humphrey's case, that's mainly for his championing of civil rights while he was a senator um, and seeming in the best interest of the less fortunate, which is something that I also feel towards former President Johnson. Not not the first Johnson, the other Johnson, the one that he was vice president under. Not not the immediate successor of Lincoln that was terrible. Um, and you know, there's this idea in society to where we'll go back in history and talk about the presidents and we never talk about the runner-ups or the people who almost got there and very few of them get remembered beyond just the presidents and who actually won and became uh, the chief executive of the U.S. but I think it's him, uh, William Jennings Bryan, Wendell Wilkie, Probably, yeah, and Hillary, that along with maybe a few others, are going to be remembered beyond uh, just being the nominee and will actually have some significance to history. Now, my favorite thing about him is that I thought it was funny to compare him and Hillary and say, oh, well, she's just like him. They both lost to someone who was became controversial or was facing impeachment charges, you know, Nixon and Trump comparisons all the way around. Uh, but the people don't compare Humphrey and Clinton all that much. But what I liked about him is that after he lost, he, in about a year uh, following the defeat, the electoral defeat, ran for senator or after, uh, replaced Eugene McCarthy, um, and then return to the Senate and serve there for the remainder of his life. And gave Nixon a pretty fair chop on most things. And I just, I love, and it doesn't seem this has been covered enough, his reaction to Watergate. The idea that this man who defeated you is now going down in flames. <laughs> um, you know, it's amusing to uh, picture his viewpoint, because I would think that would validate your belief in yourself that you were the better option, even if it's years later. But what's interesting about him is that I really, in reading his uh, stuff about him, gained this belief that he actually cared about people and his job and the less fortunate. He went back to public service after losing you know it, it wasn't just okay well you know I didn't get the highest office so it's time to give up and never try again he s went after uh, the presidency one more time seriously in 1972 um, obviously McGovern got the nomination he they were friends ahead of time and you know even if he even though he was defeated in that um, manner it still didn't stop him from going back to Senate and continuing to just be a diplomat and better the lives of the people around them. And that's what I think a true public servant is. It's a person who feels compelled to serve. And even if they are ambitious, they don't just let that be where it ends. If they can't, you know, it's the same thing with Carter. He didn't get a second term, but he was still going around building houses into his 80s and 70s and even now, still speaks and give public appearances. You know, it's it's a shame that this generation of older figures who were part of that era from probably the 40s to 
maybe early 70s of politicians that I think did genuinely care a good chunk of them they're they're gone and we have to keep remembering that there were people who cared and there are still people who care and we'll continue to try and bring more people who care into running for public office and even if they don't win they still will go out and try and that's really what Humphrey's legacy should be that you can still achieve some kind of success even if you don't get there all the way so even though he wasn't president he still tried and became vice president and is more fondly remembered than Nixon who did become president and went down in flames as I said before